welcome. My name is Mushmello. You can call me Mushy. And we are here for some dark and creepy diamond painting. So today I have a small unboxing and then a kit up of one of my favorite cult classic killers. So we'll go ahead and start with um, the unboxing. This is a package from as you can see, O Snap Crafters Cafe. They do um, like glue dots, scented glue dots, and cover minders. I have used this company before and uh, really, really like the glue dots. It's like turn me off from putty and wax in large part uh, because they last longer, they smell good, and they don't leave a residue. If you've seen any of my coaster shorts, I know they're time lapse and sped up, but if you could see the struggle I had trying to use some putty with those. There we go. All right, what do we have here? We've got a couple of goodie packages. Oh, and a free gift. That's very kind. So uh, let's start with the free gift because I'm nosy and I want to see what did we get. Oh, it looks like uh, one of those little fortunes from a fortune cookie type of thing, but much nicer. It says, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Twelfth night. So that's pretty cool. That's cute. I'm going to have to keep that and put it um, on my diamond painting boxes. Candy. Oh, candy goodness. we got a watermelon candy and coffee coffee candy that is one of the fastest ways to my heart and then we have another saying quote i guess and uh it says loving and losing different only by one letter and a million degrees of pain jessica katoff true words very true words i really really like this i really like this that's it's meaningful you know what i mean it's in there's I'm sure they probably have inspiration but quotes something to think about ponder on a cute little squirrel sticker for my spares box or my kit boxes and nice little mesh bag well, that was very kind thank you oh snap crafters cafe that was really nice uh, just to be clear I did purchase these items with my own money um, Nobody. They don't know who I am. <laughs> Just a regular person. So, let's see what we got here. Alright. Okay, so right now I think these are seasonal scents. Uh, these are O Snap Dots. They have another kind of O Snap Dots. you got to be careful if you're going to order from there. There's the regular, which is multi size They're, they vary in size a little bit the last one i got had like smalls and mediums and a little bit bigger um, these look relatively uniform in size but the one i got before um, had you know different sizes but they have one called O oh, snap dots chunky and those are like really big i think for diamond painting projects for normal pens and single placers and maybe even multi-placers you might just want to stick with the smaller dots I'm not really sure what you would use the the chunkies for um, but I'm not very creative so I'm sure they have a a good purpose but not for my diamond painting pen I'm a single placer for them oh 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 no you all this smells so good this smells so good. This smells like eggnog. You can smell the cinnamon. Uh, oh my God. It, it literally made me salivate. <laughs> my, my taste buds are like, where is that eggnog at? <laughs> Get it in my mouth. And then I got this other one. S'mores. And see, there is a little variation in size. I don't think maybe it's intentional. But I happen to like that. Because um, sometimes I need a smaller dot. Uh, just to fill a little gap. And sometimes I dig that pin tip out and I need a bigger dot to fill all of it but yep this is just the oh snap dots regular size and 
this is the s'mores scent let me see i i opened that last one and i smelled it immediately i'm gonna struggle with this one struggle bus all right here we go oh mm. you can smell the chocolate and marshmallow on this Ugh, gosh <laughs> diamond painting is gonna make me hungry and thirsty apparently okay so this is what i got oh snap dots Again, oh snap crafters cafe. There you go. Find them on Etsy. Pardon my arm. And then I got us a couple cover minders uh, here. I want to make sure I show the one I want first. Yeah, this one. Um, can never have too many cover minders, but I can't find too many that are on theme with. Well, the art I like to do, it's especially now that Halloween's over, but I did get this one, and it's a good size. Look at that. And there's the magnet on the back. It's a pretty good size. It's nice skull with a rose in there. It says handmade with love. That's going to get used. And then, oh no, okay. I'm... I, I, I reserve my Ono for a moment because I did not order this, um, but there is another little package here. So this might have just been a thank you gift. We will see. Uh, or a boo-boo occurred. We're not sure yet. But this is on point with me also. And what I like, it says, I'm coming. That's a ghost, skull, little um, gravestone. It's a cover minder. Love that. Oh, <laughs> And super strong. <laughs> I got magic powers of telekinesis. Oh, not that time I didn't. Boop. Okay. So, I don't want to presume that that was a generous gift. And this is the one I ordered. Okay. Oh, Snap Crafters Cafe. You are too good to me. Wow. So this ghost here in the cemetery with the you know graves that was a that was a complimentary gift for my order along with my little gift pack. Thank you so much, so amazing. And it was on brand with the stuff I like. Now, okay, admittedly this is not dark and creepy, spooky or ooky. However, it is my general um, affect. I thought, you know, the, the holidays are coming and um, we're going to be doing some holiday diamond paintings. And I thought this was perfect. I'm not a snowman, Santa, reindeer, cozy house type of person. This, this sums me up right here. This is my attitude. So Mary AF. Uh, let you, um, if you don't know what the AF stands for, you can Google it. I don't want to say it on, on the tubes. But, um, yep. Oh, there's the magnet. It's a little, is that smaller? Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the other ones, but no matter. Is it as strong? Yeah, it's a little weaker, but you know what? Perfect. Perfect for what we're doing in the next uh, month or two, folks. Absolutely. Again, one more time for repetition's sake. Oh, snap. Crafters Cafe on Etsy. Thank you so much. This is all wonderful stuff. Um, the Just so you know, the glue dots, these are $6 a pack, which is an amazing value because you look at this and think, oh, this one little envelope with a few, you know, with glue dots. How many? Five, two, four, six, eight, five times eight, 40 dots, okay? This is going to last an eternity. I still have my previous package from, like, a month or two, three, three months ago. I'm not even halfway done with it. Like glue dots last forever. So this is all really great stuff. Thank you. And that is our small shop haul. So uh, while we're talking about small shops, I should mention DP with sparklers is where I got this pen. I did get obviously some um, diamond dots. I got some Pixie 740 dots for a project I was working on. And uh, I also ordered this as well. 
it has a centimeter ruler on it so it's really cool when you're kitting up or in mid project if you need to measure out where you want to put your washi tape and stuff but it also has this sharp af blade right here i mean this thing is this will slice somebody <laughs> so be careful my fingers have felt its wrath before um which is really cool and then but also when it's going to come in handy with kitting up it's got some little spring-loaded scissors also very sharp and helpful for kitting up this pen on the tip so yeah dp with sparklers go check them out they've got all kinds of diamonds and um they got like pixie dust glow in the dark round square all different i can't i won't presume to assume that i know all the kinds that they have but they have a lot so um check them out shout out to them okay i guess that means it's time Woo, i'm excited for kit up and what are we kidding up if you haven't seen any of my teaser um time lapse coaster shorts with the little sneaky peek hints i will tell you this this guy right here the holidays are coming and i realize it's november i realize we have not had our turkey yet but i have a series of these i've got ghost face obviously i've got freddy kitted up and i've already started working on him i'm gonna do some whips with him michael and jason all doodadded up with their little wreaths and lights and weapon candy cane weapon totally excited to do this series but in order to do this series and finish it I felt it pertinent to start a bit early so uh, it's a lot of painting in a little bit of time so mr. ghostface yes we are going to kit you up because we are gonna work on you first I am going to be using the this container to put the diamonds in when we get to that point I bought a set of these a couple sets of these from Timu it's you've probably seen it before if you're an avid diamond painter in other videos and maybe even on Timu itself but it's the uh, Elizabeth Ward imitation for a heck of a lot cheaper and I'll tell you what I think I like these a heck of a lot better the, it, it's secure but easy to undo if that makes sense sturdy solid plastic top um, this particular kit has all small containers yes there's some beads here this is my coaster project we're gonna put mr. ghost face over here and flip them around and label them so we'll be able to tell the difference why waste the space right um, but we're but we're not there yet we're not there yet I'm just kind of showing it to you because it's here so my kidding up process I I will admit um, I do have a a small touch a, a teensy bit OCD um, it I'll probably talk about it at some point during a whip and chat but the OCD did come with a panic disorder spurred by some serious medical conditions. And so, uh, try as I might, I can't kick it. So all I can do is feed it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do with this. This is a little excessive, I admit, on, uh, on what we're about to do here. But, you know, it is what it is. It, it tickles that special OCD part of my brain makes it happy tames the beast for a while if you will all right so what we're gonna do here also this I got on Timu it was it's one of those um you know diamond painting it has the DMC code the color the name of the color if you see something offensive in here okay hold on there are some of the names of the colors in here I find uh, arguably offensive if you see that in here and you are offended, please know that I did not name these colors. Uh, this came pre-typed up and everything. I did not choose the name of these colors. I don't agree with all the name of the colors. And, um, you know, file complaint with Timu. <laughs> it was, I got this off Timu. Um, and so, you know, they're going to name things how they want to name things. Uh, it's a little bit different in the Gemflow app. They don't have the same names all the time. But it is, uh, this is what it is in here. So what I like to do is 
get organized. How about that? I'm going to get Elizabeth Ward imitation out of the way. And we're going to start. So what I like to do is go down the list on the legend. And uh, I'm going to get the one closer to me so I can see it better. And I like to see, okay, 150. 150. I already got it there, so I don't really have to worry about it, right? So then B is 154. I already got it. Don't have to worry about it. 310. Ugh. Lord knows we are, you know, there's, yeah, got lots of 310. There's no problem there. Um, three, or I'm sorry, 436. Brain fart there. 436. Um, that doesn't look tan to me. It's called tan and in the legend that's tan, but, um, tan. So I don't have this color in my spare stash. So I'm going to grab this double-sided tape and I'm not going to attempt to do that with my nails. Use these, uh, diamond, is this diamond art club? I think so. It doesn't have the logo on it, but I, I believe it came out of a diamond art club situation and get out my handy dandy spring loaded sharp AF scissors and snip a piece of double sided tape off what were we on 436 yeah there we go stick that bad boy on there press it on real good rip that off toss our trash and be completely disorganized and not already have these ready. Usually I have them cut up and ready, but I did not this time. So I'm doing this on the fly. I'm newer to making YouTube videos, so, uh, and filming any videos in general. So bear with me if I seem a little disorganized. All right. And I forgot to get my little diamond pen, so we're just gonna have to use the tweezers. Have a fight with the tweezer cover. Yeah, be careful with these. These are, do you see this? Do you see this? This is sharp, sharp. I accidentally dropped it um, and went to catch it when it didn't have its cover on and the bugger stuck in my hand skin. You know how um, when you were a kid, either you or someone you knew inevitably i mean there, you, we all did this or or knew someone who did took like a push pin or a, a safety pin and would just like squeak it under the skin just a little bit and be like oh look you know i, I got it under the skin yeah i did that but not on purpose i caught it with my hand my skin hand skin hand hand skin words words are hard i'm tired <laughs> had a long long day a long weekend so far and it is only Saturday and uh, yeah just a bit tired oh hey come back there we go so yeah I put these on here it just makes me I mean I know there's I have a pre-filled book you know for that from I think art dot um, I know they're out there. I know I don't, you know, I, but I, my brain makes me want to do this, you know? Oh, I'm going to, sorry, didn't mean to reach in front of the camera like that. But yeah, my brain makes me want to do that. So, uh, I do it and then I'm happy. And so is my brain. All right. Next, we're going to look for 646 on the next page. 646. Okay, 646. We already have that. We don't have to worry about that one. Number 60 is 777. I do not have a 777. What number did I say that was? Six. Well, let's cut six off the train. I should have been more efficient with this. Like I said, long day. Normally I have, you know, all my little containers ready and just pour them in and it saves a lot of time and effort and struggle. 
but not today. Today I am doing things bass awkward. All right, uh, number six, seven, seven, seven. Yep. Tape on crooked because I'm me and that's how I roll. <laughs> It'll be all right. Right? Nope. It will not be okay. Yes, it will. There we go. I don't care. You know, it's, it's funny because I say I have a little OCD. You would think I need that perfect and it is going to bug me a little bit. But it's not so bad that that bugs me entirely. You know, I can live with it. I will live with it. It will not cause me to lose sleep. This is kind of a pretty color. Like, really pretty. I can't wait to see where it goes on here. I'm going to guess Christmassy decoration or holiday, holiday decoration. Could be a blood. I mean, this doesn't strike me as candy cane. We saw a candy cane weapon in his in his thing. It doesn't strike me as candy cane. So, yeah, I actually might end up blinging this a bit. So if you come back for uh, whipping chats, uh, I will definitely point it out when I do. But I might spill dots, and then I might add some glow in the dark element. I've been really into adding glow-in-the-dark elements to my diamond paintings lately. Um, primarily because I have extra glow-in-the-dark dots, but also because I like the effect. I like how they glow at night. Um, $7.79. We've got it. Moving on to number 8. N is 838. 838. Oh, sorry, probably blinded you there. Again, total noob. Um, got it. 9D is 902. We've got that. Garnet 10R934 is black avocado. Got it. 11 is 950. Sportsman flesh. Okay. And then the next one is 30, uh, number 12, U3328. 3328 salmon dark got it 3721 shell pink got it 14e is 3740 antique violet do not got it so let's dig out number 14 this looks like an antique violet oh oh boy what did we do here <laughs> attack of the killer bees oh my uh, and I was right. Good eye, Mushy. Good eye. There we go. Cut this bad boy off the train. Choo-choo. Right. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> Caffeine. And all I have is this 7-Up Zero. Oh, I found. For anyone who likes like the lemon-lime sodas or flavor variations. 7-Up Zero... Uh, and I'm sure 7-Up Regular has a new flavor. And I don't know if it's just, I don't think it's seasonal. Like the Canada Dry um, Cranberry Ginger Ale. But did I say, yeah, I said Antique Violet, didn't I? Yes, I did. Why are these both Antique Violet? don't know. Anyway, um, so we were at Kroger and saw in their soda department a tropical 7-Up Zero. I'm diabetic, so I um, cut out sugar where I can, which means soda uh, has to be zero or diet. And I saw that, and it showed a picture of a peach and a mango on it, which, questionable. I mean, mango might be categorized as tropical, but peach? Uh, peaches grow all kinds of places, like Georgia and stuff. I don't consider that tropical. <laughs> I've lived there. I can say it. Um, but no, I, uh, it's called tropical, but it shows peach and mango on the can. I happen to be a huge lover of both fruits and throwing dots around where they don't go. Um, it is good. You guys, 
I've already drank like half a case in the two days that we've had it because I can't help it. I prefer caffeinated beverages. I'm not a big fan of like Seven Up generally because uh, or root beer. They're good flavors. They taste good. I'm not bashing the flavor. I am bashing the lack of caffeine. Okay, struggle. The struggle is real right there. Okay, there we go. Sorry about my grunt of frustration. <laughs> and I do apologize. If you can hear the mister in the background, he is playing a game uh, called Gears 5 in the other room on the Xbox, but he said, because I was filming, he promised he can be quiet. But uh, the game is aggravating, I guess. So if you hear some expletives from the other room, I am fine. I am safe. There is no harm coming to me or anyone around me. <laughs> he is just getting really PO'd at the video game. <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, okay, so the next one is 15G3799. Oh, blinding you again. I'm sorry. I am of limited space, so uh, I'll try to edit it out, but if I don't, I'm really sorry. I mean it. $37.99. Pewter gray VY. I don't know what VY. Very? I don't Very yellow? I don't know what VY means. If anybody knows, tell me. I mean, I get this as like maybe ultra or something, and that's dark, and that's light. I don't know what, I, I assume that's very, because it says very dark here, right? But anyway, uh, yeah, we have it. Um, 16H is 3801. We do not, oh, that's Christmas red. Oh, how cute. How on point. So we are going to be doing a, arguably, I mean, I would, I guess I did call it Christmas, but, you know, not everybody celebrates that holiday and that is just fine it's a holiday red well, 3801 <laughs> promise to be quiet and I can't even text him because you know why I'm filming on my phone all right what did we say this was number 16 I am going to regret this decision right here to um, not be so prepared because um, I have a feeling these beads are going to get spilled uh, everywhere and you're going to hear expletives from me or have see a big old break in the video where <laughs> a spill occurs and then you come back uh, and the spill is gone and I am very grumpy. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. All right, where did we go? We were at Christmas Red. Here you go. So, um, I'd call this more of like a candy cherry red or something. It's not like true cherry the fruit, but like the candy stuff, you know? So, uh, is everybody, when I'm, I guess I should preface this, my question by saying, um, it is the week end before Thanksgiving, if I'm not mistaken, when I'm filming this, don't, don't judge me. I don't, <laughs> I don't, uh, have a calendar handy on a loose track of days sometimes, but if I'm not mistaken, this is, um, I'm filming this on the 18th. So it is, yeah, the weekend before turkey day right and um so my question would be how many of you are traveling are we traveling for thanksgiving uh me and the family are staying home the mister is cooking which is mighty nice but he has a long history of cooking and enjoys it wants to do it probably try to cut my hand off if i tried to do anything in the kitchen anyway so <laughs> um normally I would cook but uh he's he's got it this time uh, he's a really good cook 
Uh, 17i, 3823, 3823, yellow, ultra pale, ultimate pale. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's got to be ultra, right? That's my, that's my theory. Ultra pale yellow. Come on there. So yeah, anybody traveling to see family, friends? Are you staying home? Um, are you going to cook? Like, who's cooking? The last couple years since um, I have some, I guess I mentioned before, I have some um, pretty serious health issues. And I, when I was diagnosed with the more severe of them, I kind of gave up on stuff. And I'm like, no more decorating, no more cooking, no more selling, nope. I don't want to waste my time doing it. Um, that's just kind of what I went through on my journey. But, um, you know, it's gotten a, lot, a little bit better now that I've kind of come to terms with things. And so I didn't really, de we're not really decorating. My daughter's grown. She's the only child in the house. Uh, she's 23. And so I don't. She doesn't really get the joy like she did, you know, when she was little. I might, as a joke, try to convince her to make one of those handprint turkeys just, gosh darn it, just to see if I can get her to do it. But, I don't know. She's blonde. She might fall for it. No offense to any blondes out there are smart blondes. I shouldn't make, I just tease her about it because sometimes... <laughs> You gotta wonder about her and her decisions and <laughs> common sense. Uh, but no, I mean no offense. Her father's blonde. I have blonde highlights. I mean no, no offense whatsoever. Um, 18V, 3861, 38, 3861, numbers. There we go, Cocoa Light. I don't have any Cocoa Light. I guess I do now, right? Cocoa light. I should have forewarned you guys to strap in <laughs> and grab a drink or a project. Because this kidding up, I'm a little extra. I do things. Eventually, you know, this book will be full and I won't have to do this. But um, I do a little bit extra stuff that isn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily need to be done. Um... And admittedly, I was not, I had all the stuff I needed, really, but I, I wasn't as organized and kind of prepared as I should have been when I sat down. So this might be a little bit of a doozy video. Um, I won't blame you if you want to pause or, you know, just leave me, leave me mumbling over here. Put my little cocoa light dots on here. Go grab a project and work with me, you know, just because I'm doing my little obsessive, compulsive, um, pre-kid up ritual here. It uh, doesn't mean that you have to do this, you know, you could be working on something. I like to think that while I'm doing this, there's someone out there cuddled up on their couch or in their chair or their desk, wherever your your crafting space is. Mine is generally the couch because um, I do a lot of diamond painting while we sit down uh, in the evenings and watch TV. Um, we just fin finished re-re I think that was my second or third time so re-re or re-re-re watching the Game of Thrones series big fan um still don't like season eight still don't like the end of the series uh it, it got it's a little easier to take now that i've seen it a few times and uh and stuff but did a lot of diamond painting while we were watching that because um, especially during season eight i didn't want to watch it <laughs> 19f 3863 
mocha beige medium we have it and the last one 20l 3864 mocha beige light we have it all right so that is my little pre-warm up my pre-game kidding situation let me put that aside and the uh, double-sided tape get out of here okay now that we got that out of the way and the OCD part of my brain has been tickled properly. Sort of. <laughs> um, so what, what I'm going to do now is set my beads aside. Sorry about the arm being in the way. Okay, these I also got off of Timu. I do have a lot of stickers on here, so you can't see it really clearly. And I'm very sorry about that. Um, but I did also get these on Timu. There's a theme here. I'm, I'm cheap and uh, Timu has good deals. I will, I've heard stories. We've all heard the stories about Timu. So disclaimer, I am, I love Timu. I don't think I've gotten, I've gotten a couple things that I had to return, but a majority of the things that I've gotten have been great and affordable, especially with a craft like this, where you collect all kinds of stuff and need all kinds of storage and kits so, um, but with the stories that I've heard on the news and from other people in mind, if you choose to go to Timu and get anything that you see here or that, you know, you find on there, please consider using like PayPal. Um, I, uh, my daughter's grandmother actually bought something on Timu with her cash app card and suddenly started getting mystery charges for hundreds of dollars after that so maybe don't use cash app but maybe paypal affirm after pay you know just don't use like your personal cards on there is my advice for you to consider you don't have to do what i say but um so this box this box is my extra littles and bigs i do have spares we got three tens and spades, y'all. <laughs> Stop collecting. We're going to start throwing out three tens at some point. But this is like my overflow ex access. Access? Excess. Words are hard. And if I need um, a blank thing to label. So we're going to set that aside because I don't even know if we're going to need it. We might. I think we might. We are. We have some new ones. Um, and then this is... The same kind of thing, but it has just littles in it. Voila. Uh, this is my 3000s. I have a, I have other storage for ABs, but this isn't, and, and glow in the dark and, and um, pixies and fairies and all that. Uh, this kit doesn't have any, so I didn't bother getting that out. And this is my regular numbers. This is all just rounds, y'all. <laughs> I'm running out of space. I'm going to have to get more of these. I think I have some more coming in the mail, actually. So here's what I do with this. So got, I don't know. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I don't want to exclude you. Okay, so uh, again, going down the list. Uh, number 1, K, 150. Got it. Number 2, B, 154. Got it. Number 3, W. We know we have 310. Stop it. Uh, 4T... 436. Four, yep, 436 was a new one. So I'm going to need space. So we're going to take this out. And I'm going back to this little kit that I showed you here. We're going to need a space filler. Um, we need one of these. Now what did I say was the number? 436. Also, got these little label stickers you guessed it say it with me timu <laughs> uh yeah but my daughter does work at a craft store a major chain craft store they don't carry they carry some of their own like in-house diamond painting stuff uh kits and a couple basic like tr i think trays and you know, I'm really not sure. I, I I took a look briefly when I went to check out her. Okay, I went to spy on her at work, okay? Again, don't judge me. That's my kid. I'm a spy with my little eye. Um, Make sure she's, you know, 
doing her job. But no, I, I went to 4, 436, right? Yeah, okay. Why was I over here when I needed to be over here? Regardless, um, I did spy on her a little bit. Uh, and, and, I, and while I was doing so, I was checking out easels and uh, looking for light boards, diamond painting stuff. They do have their own in-house brand of diamond paintings, but they looked relatively unimpressive to to me the struggle is real right here what, what is happening fine do you not have enough space are you throwing it okay the downside to these <laughs> they have like these divide they came with it came with dividers that went and sectioned things off but i didn't like that because i felt like it was taking up too much space so i took them out but because of that they don't sit quite even and i have to like do what I'm doing right here. Kind of pick up some and move them over. Annoying. Um, but it is what it is. So, um, but yeah, what I was saying. I might as well just say it because um, she works at Michael's uh, craft store. And they have their own brand called Maker's Market, Maker's Mark, Make something like that uh, I found the diamond painting selection and quality to be unimpressive granted I will say disclaimer I did not um, actually buy a kit and try it I just saw the box and how pixelated everything seemed of the contents therein and I was like yeah no thanks um, and I didn't like really the images, very generic, basic images. But if you want, if you're just getting started I, and want to check it out, see if you even like it, it's inexpensive and it's a basic kit, but it has everything you need and uh, a good price. Um, just not anything like my aesthetic. Um, and I should mention why I'm, why I'm doing this now is because it makes the kitting down faster. I take forever to kit up, uh, obviously, as you can see. But kidding down is only like 30 minutes because I do this at the beginning. So, um, 5Z, 646, 646, 60777, that was one we didn't have, right? Because I was like, hey, it's kind of like 666, but 777, yeah, there it is. Okay, so, oh, let me just go ahead and, so I don't lose my number, 777, let me get the sticker. 777 it looks brown on here see these uh these stickers are pretty cool because they have the colors on them but they're not always like quite accurate because on the legend 777 and if i remember it in the book it was kind of a a reddish but this is a straight up brown straight up brown um can we squeeze you in no that would be too easy what in it Oh, guys, we are going to run out of space in this one. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm going to, might have to, might have to silence the mister. Might have to mute him, turn his volume down. I warned him. I was like, I cannot film this video because I know you're going to be in the back or er, in the background, like, all oh, cursity, curse, curse. No, I'm not. And what do we hear? Plain as day. I'll probably, you know what? I might even while I'm editing, if he, if he, his voice shows up with an expletive in the background, I might just put a honk sound in there. Like those old um, honky noses or little bike horn honks. The ones that go honk honk. I just put that in there and make him watch the video and see if he catches the, what, it, what was going on. Because I told him, I'm like, you're going to get frustrated at that game. And you're going to start, like, being loud and cursy. No, I'm not. I'll be quiet. I know you're filming. He's not quiet. <laughs> God love him. All right. God, God, I love him. All right. 902. 910. 934. Got it. And 950. Got it. All right, that was it for 
this. And, oh, all the stickers. Okay, so we're done in the hundred zizzes. And we can put that aside. And move on to the thousand zizzes. The three thousands is to be specific. All right. So then this is where we're going to have to make a few. 3328. See, this shows up as like a pink, and then on here, this is almost like a orangey. I don't know. Uh, I will not question the powers. Uh, 13P3721. Oh, well, that's a big jump. Okay, 37. 21, got it. Uh, 14E, 3740, do not got it. Take this bad boy. What did I say? See, I'm getting tired. 3721. See, tell me if you find it before me. 3721. Found it. Did I win? Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. All right. Another brown it and see I got this a little crooked and it's probably gonna bug me I will probably fix that someday that little tickle in my brain is gonna be thinking about it for a while but that's all right 37 21 you son of a gun I had 3721 what did I do here okay rewind 33, 28, 33, 28, 37, 21. I just wasted a sticker. 37, 40. That's the one I didn't have. All right. Well, this is not called Mushy's Perfect to Diamond Painting, right? <laughs> there is a reason. There is a reason why this is not... Mushy's Perfect Diamond Painting Channel. Welcome. <laughs> it's Mushy's. Maybe I should rename the channel to Mushy's Imperfect Diamond Painting. 3740. 40. 40, Mushy. 40. There we go. Boop. Okay. Well, at least that crooked sticker won't bother me anymore, right? Yay. Okay. 3740. And then we got 3799. 3799. We got it. 3801. We don't got it. I'm sorry to go across the, the frame like that. That's rude. That's like uh, when you reach across a dining table for something. I'm sorry. Uh, what did I say? 3799. I got to get into my spares kit that I showed you earlier and grab us a fresh bottle. $37.99. Who can find it first? Me or you? $37.99. Oh, there it is. We're going to tweezer this because nails be nailing. And the nail life, the struggle is real. $37.99. You son of a biscuit. How? What is wrong with my brain? Oh, 3801. Again, I picked the wrong one. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? 37. Let's, let's put it back in the right place. Nine. Okay, there we go. I. It's probably not going to stick there, and it is probably forever lost to me, but that's okay try right we'll see next time I come across that number and I need an extra 3801 that's gonna go there and then the next one is 3823 we do not have that so again I gotta reach over here into my spares get a spare one don't get the number wrong mushy please 3823. Who can find it first? 3823. Numbers are hard right there. All right. Get it on 
Mm. Does anybody like eggnog? I like the smell of eggnog, and I sometimes like this. I used to like to drink eggnog. 3861. I used to like eggnog when I could have alcohol. Um, but I cannot any longer. Why do I have two B5200s? Do you know? I don't know. We need the space. 38, what was I at? 3860, wait, 3823. Yeah, 3861. Mm -mm. Okay, so am I going to need a 63? 3863? No. Am I going to need a 3864? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do. is um, fix my WTF moment. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, cool thing about these, you can just take that off and get rid of that last little straggler there. We're gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave the sticker on because um, B5200 is another one, obviously, that we get a lot of extras of. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to need this someday with that label on it. So we're just going to keep it that way and grab a fresh one from the spare um, Tic Tac kit. And what, what did I say? 3863. You know the drill. Who can find it first? 3863. Found it. Um, but yeah, I can't drink alcohol anymore. I have uh, about two dozen last at the last MRI I had about two dozen liver tumors. You son of a biscuit. It was 61. Why am I doing this to myself? This is the third one. Third one you guys. I can't <laughs> I can't talk and sticker at the same time. Whipping chats are going to be real fun. <laughs> Goodness. Um, but no, I cannot drink alcohol anymore because of the couple dozen liver tumors. Uh, I also have a tumor on my brain, possibly two. They are suspicious of, and currently in the process of investigating through testing, a potential tumor on my pituitary gland, which is in my noggin. Um, so potentially two tumors in my brain, a couple in my spine, on my spine, a couple in my chest, and in my other lady bits. You, if you're a lady, uh, or even if you're not, you know a lady uh, anatomy, you probably can guess without me having to spell that out where that would be. Um, did have cervical cancer when I was younger as well, so it doesn't help. But uh, yeah, can't have alcohol anymore. It does, with my meds and with my liver condition, uh, it does bad things to me. And I'm not entirely convinced that, oh, look at you, $37.99, you sneaky, I knew it. What'd I say? That was the one I said. Well, we probably wasted that one. Stay. But I can't, um, I can't say that, hello, there it is. I like eggnog as much on its own as I do with alcohol. Well, I did with alcohol. Like with alcohol, it made it taste yummy. And without it, what is it, rum that they put in there? I could add rum extract, right? Could you? Could you do that? And get like the same general. Does anyone have like a non-alcoholic replacement for um, sauced up eggnog, you know, or eggnog that would normally have rum in it, you know, like what, if you were going to make a, a uh, sassy eggnog for, you know, some, what would you put in there to emulate the taste of a spiced eggnog? I just am going to clean this up real quick. Oh, gosh darn it. 
I'm just going to clean this up real quick. I just heard something about camping, which leads me to believe that my mister is playing our favorite game without me. Okay, so we have that done and now comes the fun part. Pardon me while I put these away. I'll be right back. Okay, the fun part. The fun part begins. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to do, because I have my coaster projects kitted, um, diamonds kitted here, I'm going to just go ahead. This thing is so versatile. Uh, we have, what, 20 colors? So I'm just going to take these. And I'm going to fill them up and label them. But I'm going to do them kind of the opposite direction. So upside down in here so that I don't get confuddled. They'll ha well, they'll have the labels on them, right? Okay, maybe I won't. Maybe I'm just making more work for myself. I'm making it harder <laughs> than it needs to be, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 13 times 6? 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 3. Wait, uh, 6, 7, 78? This is a 78 piece, I guess. I did not uh, go to school for a math degree, so there's that. All right, so... Um, what I want to do is I'm going to grab some, I'm going to grab some washi tape. Here's my, <laughs> my secret, not so secret stash, but I'm going to grab some washi tape that we can write on. Actually, I don't want to write on it. I'm going to sticker it. So let's grab whatever I darn well please. I know this looks like it's a feather or something rocks but to me it kind of looks a little ghosty facey I don't know what do I want to look at folks what do you you know do I don't I do I don't I no you know what we're all about the the creepy here Let me, I got this at, mm, try again <laughs> I got this um washi tape at Michael's in a multi-pack not convinced I love it um, it is a little stickier than the the cheaper stuff but uh, it, it's also more I don't know flimsy does that make sense uh, it, it like when I'm trying to, it's so sticky that when I'm trying to unpeel it, like unroll it, it's, uh, it rips and like masking tape does, or you know what I mean? When you try to unroll it, sometimes it, um, I think it breaks and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you're like, oh crap. Then you gotta go all the way back here and pick up the little sliver and just like that. This does that. So, um, but it's cute and it was on clearance and I, I, it is more sticky, which is depending on what you're using it for is good or bad. Don't know which. In some, in some cases it's bad and some it's good. So we're just going to, we're just going to put little washi tape down. The reason I'm doing this is because, uh, as you may or may not know, washi tape has a lower tack or stick factor than um, other tapes so it will stick on here obviously uh, but it's easier to take off too and then clean off the residue if you need to um, what I've been doing is uh, with another kit as I get this washi tape on on my little jars and um, the stickers that I'm going to put to match 
the graph thing here, the table, is uh, they're so cheap on Timu that I can just, they're less than a dollar. So I just, every time I place an order, I buy more labely stickers. As you saw, I have a whole bunch of them. Um, and I just take off the old one and put on the new one if I need to. I have not done a diamond painting in probably uh, two years that didn't that required symbols and funky stuff. It's you bugger. It's all been um, letters and numbers, so. I haven't had to like make my own label or find any funky symbols yet, but that that is going to change. I have quite a few Diamond Art Club paintings and uh, Dreamer Designs, Craftology, um, Art Dot maybe, just some not Timu paintings, not Amazon paintings. Uh, some actual company paintings that will require some TLC with this process, but um, for now, I am good with just letters and numbers. I've been good with just letters and numbers, but after, so we're going to do this series of um, killers, and I'm going to fix that later if it becomes a problem. Um, how did I say? 13? Okay. Um, we're going to do this series of killers that are decking the halls, if you will, with their little wreaths and lights and candy cane weapons. And after I finish this series, if we get done with it, it um, before the end of December, I do have some other paintings that are seasonal that I'd like to do. Um, there's a F, what I call the F.U. Grinch. Uh, it's just the Grinch, but he's flying a bird, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, that's kind of, like I said, kind of like the, the cover minder that said Mary AF. Um, you know, it's just kind of my, my personality. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay, 30. Um, I also have zombie Santa with a zombie reindeer, on, you know, pulling a... Can I call it a zombie sleigh? Is there a such thing? And there is today. A zombie sleigh. <laughs> and then a zombie um, elf with a present. Um, I'm sure I'm not going to get four killers, uh, a Grinch, and two zombie situations done. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. Just want to make sure. 20. Um because they're all 30 by 40s, which is some people consider snack size. Uh, I consider it uh, average size. Um, but they do take me on average 30 to 40 hours if you include kit up and kit down. So I don't know, if, you know, how many I'm, I'm going to do this series. I don't care if it takes me after New Year. But once we're done with this series and after the holiday season, I'm then going to start... Uh, random number generator. I have quite a sizable stash and I'm just going to let the generator decide for me what we work on. Um, so that's the plan if anybody was curious. All right, so we've got this part done. I'll be right back with my stickers. It'll be no time for you, but for me it's going to take a second. Okay, back with some stickers. So this table is reflecting in the light. This table is all letters. All right. So we're just going to let's find one I haven't tainted with my other kits. All right. Cuz I don't feel like this is already a long doozy, right? So we'll just hello. Ha. Open it the right way. Open a f you booger. <laughs> it just closed on me. <laughs> it was like, no, you cannot, you cannot take my sticker friends. All right, so 
we're just going to go down the table. And I wish these weren't pink, but it is what it is, right? So we've got number one is K. And I just go by the symbol now. I don't, or the letter, whatever. I don't go by the number one, two, three, four, five down the, I used to, I don't anymore. Um, Cause that's going to get covered up anyway. B. W, the dreaded W. Well, w is always three. Do they, I need to, I'm curious. I want to go back through my old kits and their tables and find out if they use the same letters for the same numbers. Like 310, the black, the pure black is always W. Always. Or three. If they're using numbers, it, I've noticed that it's always W or three. Have you noticed that? And so, like, I'm curious, is that just for the black? If that is the case, if it's always three or X, I think I've seen it as X. If it's always three W or X, so does that mean, like, this pale yellow that's letter, you know, number 436 T, is that always going to be in any other painting? 436 is always going to be a, a T? It doesn't matter the company or anything. It, um... It just seems to be kind of universal. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. It is possible. What do you think? Have you guys noticed that? Is there any other number, like a DMC, that you've noticed is always the same letter or number, no matter what painting from what company? Or at least generally, a majority of the time, it's this or that? I'd be interested in knowing. I'm gonna kind of haul butt here because pretty soon the bark machines are going to go off. And by bark machines, I do mean our brother and sister teddy bearman for golden doodles who are addicted to barking at everything they can hear a flea fart 500 miles away and bark at it no joke but my daughter is getting off work soon may already be in route home i don't know because um i'm here doing this with you guys and filming on my phone so i can't check my notifications but don't worry you know, her father is available to her if she needs to reach one of us I did not just leave my daughter out in the world at stupid o'clock at night uh, without without backup. But um, when she gets home, the dogs will sing us the song of their people, and it won't stop for a while. So I want to save you from that. I want to spare that. I want to spare you that, and try to get this done before she gets home. And if not spare you that, I'd like to spare myself that in editing because I am new to this. I am not a professional. I am not a long time doer of videos. Uh, I am technology unsavvy, disadvantaged, if you will. And so editing has been, learning to edit basically, basic edits has been difficult and time consuming. And um, while I would also like to primarily spare you from the dog chorus, I'd like to spare me from trying to figure out how to get rid of the dog chorus in a video. <laughs> um, it's already bad enough that I'm going to try to have to have to try to figure out how to get rid of hus hubby wubby. Um, you might. Okay, you guys want to watch me struggle with this crinkly? <laughs> why? It's because I'm in a hurry. That's why. It's like, oh, you're in a hurry? Let's be crinkly, annoying, and sticky. There we go. Oh. All right. One second. See, literally, one second. All right. 
now oh the fun begins okay um, because i already have these packages open i'm going to be going in a little out of order so 17 is i hello okay uh actually let me think about this for a second let me spare myself so we're gonna a b c d I don't see an, oh, I see an F. F. We're going to kind of just get these in alphabetical G just so that we can maybe make this a little bit easier on me. I'm probably going to regret this. We'll see. G H I. That way, when I'm like looking for letter I, I know where to find it. So loud and obnoxious. I'm so sorry, J. K. Was there no L? I thought I saw an L. Okay, J K L N N O P. There is no Q. I have R S T. Q, E, W, L. What the? Mm. Mm -hmm. J, J, K. Mm. I knew I saw an L. I just, I guess I was blind in that spot for a moment. J, K, L, N, O, P, R, S, T, U, V, W, Z. All right. Okay. Crisis averted. All right, 17 is I. So, um, I have these. I got these. This magical creature. And I got one for cylinders. And I have one for Tic Tacs. These little funnels. Do you need this? No. Will any funnel work? Yes. Do you even need a funnel? No. Uh, but I'm extra. And so, uh, I saw these and I was like, yes. It is from a small Etsy shop. Forgive me. I can't remember the name right now, but I if I can remember, matter of fact, you know what? I'll write it down in my handy, my handy dandy notebook, like that Blue's Clues guy. Funnels on Etsy. I went. Okay, I will try to find uh, my order and the shop, and I will put it in the description below and link for you because watch the magic. Okay. Before I say watch the magic, let me, we'll just do it right here just in case. <laughs> Cause I'll say watch the magic and then they'll fly everywhere. <laughs> but seriously, uh, yeah, see what I say? Oh my gosh, I knew it was gonna happen. Um, that was not the funnel's fault, okay? I promise you that was not the funnel's fault. That was me my fault uh there we go I get them all i don't feel anymore okay um but magic makes things so much quicker so much quicker all right 18 is v and see this is for the elizabeth ward but it works for this imitation elizabeth ward i'd be careful picking up this bag And I got, no, this isn't static, I don't think. I think these are just kind of the bag is crinkled. So they're, yeah, that's not static. Just crinkles. V, and we had 16, which is H, just opened. And these ones, see, I've heard Elizabeth Ward, you have to like use tweezers if you have nails, and even if you don't, like, they did it. These open and and shut and latch and secure. I mean, I didn't even I could. It didn't hurt my nails, so uh, can't say enough about these. 
Timu. I think they're like $23, which compared to the seven, 50 to 70 that you can get the Elizabeth, the actual Elizabeth Wards for. Uh, it's a good value. 14 is E. And I am so sorry that I'm saying all this out loud, like my numbers and letters. If you're diamond painting and you're trying to work on a number or a letter and I am messing you up, I am sorry. I am so sorry. It's not intentional, but um, it helps me to say, remember things if I say them out loud. Uh, six is O. If this video happens to see the light of day, one, that's the first condition. And then the second is the light of day before a whip and chat where I introduce myself and tell you a little bit about myself. I guess, spoiler, that's coming. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that happened. Okay. It's not a big deal. Couple beads. Took a dive but we'll, we'll wrangle them. I'm sure that even if I didn't notice that they took a dive, um, we would not miss them because they always give us more. I have not run into a kit yet where I've run out of beads um, or diamonds, drills, whatever. Uh, the I have had the issue where the kit did not come with the with one of them um it was the one i mentioned earlier when i ordered from dp with sparklers uh the reason i discovered them and ordered from them was because i found myself needing 740s which is an orange color it was for a halloween kit and and the kit just didn't have any 740 oh, son of a gun that tea I just did yeah then I forgot to pick up the stragglers like a goofball but um yeah they didn't have the it was just missing the entire number and the the numbers close to it like before and after and I even looked at the DMC chart to find like hey is there a similar color that I might have in my stash I did not have it an orange anywhere in the vicinity of that color so um I had to order and that's the only time that is the one and only time I have ever come across a kit I know I look stupid trying to hold these little scissors but you know what they are amazing and they work so um, ignore my alien hand grip here um anyway the only time I have ever come across a kit that didn't have what I needed in it or enough of what I needed in it. So, um, the, this is a lot more, sorry about coming across the frame there. Please forgive me. Limited workspace. Oh, look at, yeah. <laughs> well, um, probably could have used, I might, I might do a thing. We'll see how much time we have and how long this takes, but I might do a thing with all these, uh, extra three tens of doom. Um. In terms of containing them so we're gonna start we're just gonna grab one. Oh, we're gonna grab number one which is okay I might look uh, kind of crazy with how I have to because these are small little scissors and boy they are they are springy sorry I opened that off frame um, they are s quite springy that's the printer. That's the that's the bark machine responding to the dining room demon. <laughs> He's convinced it's a monster. Yeah, it's all right. 
I hope someday he grows up. Okay, seven pass. And becomes less of a bark monster. Let me just get the get this on here. So I can stay. So now we're just gonna get these beads in there right full. Okay, listen. Crinkly little bag of doom. So how do you guys flatten your diamond paintings? Because um, when we get them shipped to us and stuff, they're always rolled up. And um, Hopefully I'm in frame for you guys. Um, but yeah, they're always rolled up and they get creased and crinkled. And um, what I've been doing is I have bought portfolio like these large portfolio books with um, thin little plastic pages. And I have been uh, pre-planning whether I use the number generator or, um, you know, like I know what I'm going to do, like this series. I, I you know, pick out the next two or three diamond paintings that I know I'm going to work on. And I flatten them out on the table, like just open them up, get them out on the table. I peel back and then reapply the, that crap stuff. Um, and, uh, it, a lot of times with the canvases that are kind of like rougher, you can hear that like this rougher plasticky kind of canvas, um, that works to flatten them out are, uh, quite a bit, but then I will stick them in that portfolio like with my other completed artwork and the weight of that and the time you know the, the couple weeks that it's in there while I'm finishing other di diamond paintings seems to flatten these out pretty good I mean this this one was a hot mess and um, it's pretty flattened out you know, I've seen videos where people talk about ironing and show them ironing let me just tell you, <laughs> if I tried that, I would kill the painting. Like it would just, it would just uh, burn and melt and whatever other bad thing can happen would happen. That is just how things work out for me when I try. See, like that. Ah. Okay. Whew. That was a journey down to the floor. Um, oh, we have a stray. We have a stray. Oh, nope, just the one. Or, oh, boop. Oh, you son of a gun. There we go. Um, yeah, it wouldn't work for me. And I've seen other people say they put them under their mattress. Okay, listen. That is perfectly okay and valid, and I know a mattress is thick, and like, you know, if you spill a drink on it, or, I don't know, you get busy on it, I know that it's not going to go through the mattress to your diamond painting, but I still can't, I can't fathom, you know, putting it on, Jay, putting it on my mattress, and then, I don't know, doing, doing nightly activities. <laughs> exercises <laughs> knowing that you know I've got diamond paintings under the mattress staring up at me <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever said and that you've probably ever heard but you know it's kind of true I don't know I I just am skeeved out by it for whatever reason it's never there's nothing wrong with that method whatsoever and my skeeved outedness is completely irrational. I acknowledge, recognize, and appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I couldn't, I, I can't do that. Um, I've seen other people hang them. I did try the hanging method with some of them, but uh, I guess I... I don't know. I could only get like three or four on a hanger before they started falling. Like it was too much weight. And uh, I'll talk about this in a in a future video, probably maybe. 
because uh, I know that it's going to, people are going to come at me. Um, but I do have a sizable stash and there's a reason for that. So don't judge me. You don't know the story. Um, and there was just too many, you know what I mean? There was just too many, uh, diamond paintings too heavy to hang. Um, so I have to store them just rolled up and in their wrappers, you know? Um, so I have to find, I have to iron them out and straighten them out as I go. Uh, for storage sake. Right now I do have my stash in those big plastic totes uh, and on a shelving system I guess you could call it. So eight and I just straighten them out as I go. I just pre-plan. You know I just have the number generator generate which ones I'm going to be doing in the you know next two or three. I finish one, I number generate a new one, get it flattened out, smoothed out, and in a portfolio to finish its flattening process, and it's nice and straightened out by the time I get to it. And that's been working for me, but what do you do? Um, I don't know why I keep looking at the table like a fool. Uh, B. But yeah, what do you what do you do to straighten yours out? Um, maybe, hopefully, I've given you an idea of what you can do. Uh, if you haven't found like your go to method, you can try what I do. I'll show it in a video in the future too. Um, I was just really nervous and hesitant to start making a video because I don't. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to video. I don't know how to talk to invisible people out there, talk to a camera lens. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Um, not real good at it, which is funny because um, I did go to and graduate from law school with the intent of being a prosecuting attorney, which is a trial attorney, meaning... Um, I would be spending a lot of time in court talking to juries and judges and in front of a whole courtroom of people. Uh, public speaking doesn't really bother me. I mean, it does, but I can get over it and do what has to be done. You know, um, the quality of how... <laughs> that's a different story, but it gets done. Um, but yeah, just the idea of filming a video, I think it's just putting yourself out there for rejection and hate. Uh, you know, hateful comments and um, judgments and rejection. And it, that's scary. Um, I would argue that it probably scare, it would scare anyone, really, you know. Oh, looky here, you guys. We've gotten to the dreaded 310 and obviously this these are not going to fit in one of these so what I'm going to do is go ahead and did I not fill a Z hey am I missing I'm not missing three 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 did I boo boo hello oh look is this going to be Z is number five going to be Z, folks? Because I, I know I just looked, but I wasn't, like, paying attention. Yes. Okay. Found it. Crisis averted. Whew. I thought, well, you know, I just said, I jinxed myself when I just said I've only had one diamond painting ever in the last couple years since I've been doing this that didn't have what I needed. And then, oh my gosh, the Z is empty. Again, that was my, my error. It was not empty. It's right there. Wait, but W is. Because W is 310, you buffoon. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put one. Okay, sorry. I had to point. I had to give it the mommy point. The mean, mad mommy. Oh, get, <laughs> shape up. Get in line. Um, and see, it totally worked. I'm going to point at the scissors in a minute. But um, what I'm going to do 
is can I squeeze this bag in here? Let us find out. Please go inside the container, the entire bag. Oh, oh, it's dicey, you guys. Oh, we got a straggler. Okay. Let me take a peek. Okay, we got room. I think we can do it. I think we can. I think we can. I might have been wrong. That was a pretty fat bag. Uh, I might cry a little here. Yeah, I might have. I might have boo-booed. Did I? A straggler. Hey, get in there. Get. Get your hiney in there. All right. There we go. Oh, there's still a little room in there. Look at that. You know what? Oh, I I feel like testing testing my luck tonight. I must I'm I would gotta admit I'm a little afraid to open this back up because it's so full. Can we? Can we do this? Sure. Mushy should not be doing this. Mushy should not. But she is. Tempting fate. Oh I just heard a chorus of angelic creatures oh no dun 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 oh it doesn't want to shut because of this dippy do here the little grippy dippy oh ah you know opening this back up for when we diamond paint that is a problem for someone i like to call future me <laughs> which is not current me so sorry future me so what I'm going to do, here's another one of the um, Elizabeth Ward, like Elizabeth Ward knockoffs, if you will, from Timu. I am going to grab one of these bad boys. Hopefully we'll only need the one, right? But um, how many spaces do you fill? You feel like, so this is kind of perfect. I'm going to set these aside and put those and I, I like this because it's so modular. You can modulate it. Is that a word? Modulate? Yeah, that's a word. Right? I'm not totally done. Right? <laughs> I like to make up my own words for things. Um, so. If that wasn't a word, uh, sorry, not sorry. We're just, oh, a jumper. I felt you. I felt you hit my hand. There you are. I see you. Don't worry. I will get you. You will not get left behind. Because, golly gee, what would we do without every single... You know, and the sad thing is, is that all these... It's wasteful. Um, I, I, I'm saving the extra. You know, that's why I have extra storage, which I'm probably going to have to go to that, like, box index card baggy type storage system that most... Diamond painters with excess diamonds use uh, because my little container tic tac situation is quickly filling up, and I realize that's not going to be a permanent solution. It works for now, right? But um, anyway, I have a bunch of stuff I've gotten at like the dollar store and Dollar Tree and you know, clearance, whatever, artsy craftsy. Hey. Is there a clog? Do we clog the system here? There we go. Um, but uh, I am going to use the beads for uh, original artwork craft situation. Um, so I do save these. But for people who aren't into that or don't have the time or the interest or whatever, do you know how wasteful this is? Like, you know that they gave me like five, four, five bags of 310. And you saw how much 310 was in my, in my leftovers, right? Or in my, I don't, what do you call that? B drill stash? I don't know. But you, drill extras? Um, they always give us way too much 310. And, uh... You, you, there's an, a crazy excessive amount left. We don't need that much. 
you know that out of that like four or three oh, four or five bags they were probably only gonna use two and so why why create this waste I don't know that's a that's also a problem for another day all right so now we've got this done the last thing that I have to do is tape Mr. Ghostface up and um, washi out my sections and pick my cover minders, which have conveniently been picked for me by O Snap Crafters. So I'm just gonna put my extras in here uh, and hopefully remember to put them back because I kind of want to keep these systems like in the way I purchased them, you know, the what came in their boxes, but we can't really do that for this time, but here we go. So we've got our beads kitted up, you guys. Here, that was half the bat, half the battle. There we go. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Oh, I'm so excited to start working on this. So the last thing I want to do, last, oh, straggler. Um, I have purchased some, okay, I, let me start, let me preface this by saying I have found that washi tape, a lot of people use it on the edges. It never sticks for me. What are you doing to make it stick? I don't understand. Oh, I'm shaking the table. Sorry. I'm probably shaking the camera too, but I don't understand. How are you making washi tape stay on here and not like peel up and I, I, I can't do it. So I broke down and I bought this duck masking tape. I'm, I'm sure there's scotch brand, I think too, but it comes in all these different colors. Duck at the Walmart I went to didn't have too many color choices, but, um, yeah, I, I use masking tape. So there's that. Uh, we're going to tape that. Okay. Uh, you may notice a cut there. I had to take a break for a second. I needed to borrow Mr.'s help. So what we're going to do is tape the edges. I picked red and green. It's red a little excessive. There's a lot of red in here. But the green isn't real prominent. Matter of fact, I don't know that I saw a whole lot of green in there. Is that even going to really go? Is it going to go? It's going to bring it. It doesn't matter because it's not really going to stay there after I'm done. Um, Mr. makes custom frames. So we're going to custom frame it. But here's, I'm going to pull up my, my cellophane here. I don't know. Hopefully this is still in frame. Let me move it up just in case. Um, so I'm just going to do, what I do is I like to put, put it right up to the line at the bottom. Um, I have been informed from various sources that you can, um, use oh I don't want to misinform you so no I mean check into it yourself don't take my word for it but I believe you can use like rubbing alcohol and sorry trash we gotta move it we gotta get the, the baggies out of the way I don't have a trash can nearby um but I have heard that you can use rubbing alcohol on a q-tip oh Okay, it's sticking. I see bubbles in the glue. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. Let me. Sorry if I hurt your eyes. Like I said, I'm not used to doing this, but I'm going to bring this up close. And there are some, like, almost looks like bubbles or bare spots in the glue right there. I don't know if it's focusing. You can see it. If you can't see it, you might just have to take my word for it. But, um, it feels tacky so it might just look a little funky I guess we'll find out while we're working on it anywho um I've heard that you can take rubbing alcohol on a q-tip 
and rub this stuff off. Ignore that, that's my writing. Um, it's just for cataloging my stash, um, which I'll talk about in another video as well. But the, um, ooh, don't get on there. Sorry, silence for concentrations like this. Oh, you little booger. Well, uh, one of the things I had to have Mr. Do was come in here because, mm, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I saw what you tried to do there. Um, I am using my phone to film and therefore, I, and I don't want to mess up, like change the, the, the frame and stuff in the middle of a video. So I had to pause and um, have the mister come in and take a picture of the legend for me because I put it in the Gemflow app. And just in case I ever need it and I try to like take the tape off or look under the tape and it's peels up. I don't know. Okay. Just, it's what I do. Um, and I do what I want when I want because I want. So, but, um, no, the, which way do we go? You can take, let me try that for like the umpteenth time to get out, spit out a sentence without getting distracted by tape. You can take rubbing alcohol that, uh, like that you use on wounds or whatever. Um, sterilization and a Q-tip and gently rub the inky, like the table here and the stuff up here and it magically disappears. Please, please do not take my word for that. Uh, please verify on your own with some, you know, ask Professor Google or check other YouTubers videos or Reddit's you know, that's how I found the information. So like, I do not know from personal experience. I have not tried it yet, though I do intend to. And I might do it on camera so you guys can see for yourselves with me whether it works or not. Or how well it works or does it do anything harmful or something. We'll, we'll do an experiment together if you'd like. But um, I've heard you can do that. And that's dandy. And I, I will do it at some point but I happen to actually really like taping the edges it helps keep um, the sticky and I don't it gives me something to look at and um, I don't know I just like to do it this way and and what and this is why we do what we do uh, if you're an artist a crafter a diamond painter you know, we do what we do because we enjoy it. I enjoy my my personal kidding up process. I enjoy what I'm doing, the way I'm doing it. I enjoy it. Yeah, it was a bubble because look, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an, another one. It is still tacky though, so it's just a, an appearance of blemish, I guess. Um, but yeah, I will try it, but it's not like my, the thing that I, the thing that I do, you know, uh, the alcohol thing. This is the thing that I do, but uh, who knows? That might change once we do our experiment together and I, and I find out how it works and how well it works and if it works and all that dandy stuff. Is it perfect? Is this perfect? Nope. Sure isn't. Is it good enough for me? Yep. Sure is. Smooth you back out. All right, Mr. Ghostface, looking all festive and whatnot. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do before I get out of your ears and eyeballs is... We're going to pick some sectioning washi. Here's my little washi collection. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, I'm feeling... I'm feeling spunky. I think Ghostface... 
would leave some blood splatter. I'm going to section with this. There's all already, I would have used one of the other ones, but there's already a lot of black in there, you know? So, um, I've got some tape stuck. Now it's on my thumb. Okay. Um, so let's bring a little lightness to this. Normally I would measure this out. I, I use a diamond painting ruler. Um, controversy time, right? Um, some people don't like them. Some people love them. Some people have never tried them. Some people think it's cheating <laughs> or whatever. But here's the way I look at it. I paid for, let me line this up before I, I paid for these. No matter how much or how little, I paid for these. I do them to enjoy my time. I want my work and effort and time that I spend on doing all this, the kitting up, the actual diamond painting, making videos, whatever. I want it all to, in the end, look the best it can. I have MS and that can mess with my uh, hand-eye coordination and my uh, muscles and etc. my nervous system. And so I get shaky. I get confused sometimes. All the stuff. And I can't always perfectly align my... Oh, bye, Mr. Ghostface. We'll see you again soon. You handsome devil. Um, especially if you're Skeet you What's his name? Skeet Ulrich? Under the mask? And the young Matthew... Well, Matthew Lillard's still good looking. Even at his age. But the young version. Anyway. <laughs> um, but I want my work to turn out as perfect as it can. And I need help sometimes with that. So, um... I use a ruler. Usually I would section this all out with, oops, sorry about that, with a ruler handy so I got the sections like perfect to size the ruler, but um, I've already taken up enough of your time, so I just am going to forgo that part and deal with that. Again, um, one of my favorite sayings, problem for future me. So you guys, that was my small shop haul and kidding up. This bad boy is ready to be worked on, which will happen in the future on a future whip and chat. And um, you can get to know me if I haven't already posted that whip and chat. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and seeing what I'm about, seeing what I'm doing, spending some time with me. And I hope you come back. I would really enjoy that. I love the thought of there being similar people out there that like diamond painting in general that like you know the horror genre that like the art that enjoy hanging out with me and, and working on these things with me so um if you liked this video and you want me to stop wobbling the table go ahead and hit that like button um also i would love it if you subscribe so that, and hit your notification bell so next time I upload you get notified and you can come on back and see what kind of uh, trouble I'm getting myself into with these diamond paintings next. And that's all for this time. I will see you next time. Have a naughty night.